Woo! Hey everybody, this is Daryl from Crypto Daily Trade Signals coming to you live from Vietnam, guys. Hopefully you guys have a good evening in America and a good morning to you all in, uh, in Europe, guys. So what is happening right now in the crypto space? As you guys know, it's a Sunday here in Vietnam. It's Sunday morning, so almost Sunday afternoon, you know, just going from morning to afternoon. So it's a great day to be alive and everything's looking pretty peachy keen, you know, out here right now. You know, but what's happening? You know, typically the weekends are pretty slow. We're seeing that the news cycle is uh, pretty quiet. Uh, we're not seeing any more China FUD that's coming out, so that's good. And uh, as you guys saw, that's been a pretty turbulent, uh, been a pretty turbulent week, guys. We had, uh, you know, the China FUD. We had the uh, crashes. We had Gary Gensler going on the rampage. And uh, so, hopefully, what what do we have look to look forward to next week? I think next week, uh, you know, I don't think that we're going to see much more coming out of uh, coming out of China right now. I think uh, people and the uh, the whales have realized that the whole China FUD mechanism and they pay media outlets to run stories that uh, are from like 2007, 2013 and keep, you know, regurgitating same old news to try to scare you, the paper handers, out of your uh, crypto. They really does not work. And guys, don't forget to get the mug the mug, guys. Uh, get the daily crypto trade signals mug the mug. You get some coffee. Uh, coffee tastes good in the mug, guys. So remember, this uh, this uh, video is not financial advice. It's just for education and entertainment purposes only. And this is the OG, the Ric Flair woo, of crypto, the ice, ice baby of crypto in the house. Cold as ice, guys, giving you the chills, the spills, and the updated news, guys. So once again, this whole China manipulation. And we can see that every year that when we have bull, run, we, bull runs, we always see a lot of manipulation happening. And we saw it in 2013. We saw it uh, years before. Uh, 2020, we saw the, the China FUD and all that manipulation. So what is happening right now, today, in crypto space? Nothing much, guys. Every, most of, you're seeing that most of the old coins are pretty much going sideways. Bitcoin is going sideways. Uh, Ethereum is uh, going sideways. Sure, Ethereum lost a little bit, about 4% today. But basically, all the old coins are kind of, kind of licking their wounds from the, uh, the onslaught that we've had in uh, the last two weeks, from the 7th of September. So this has been a pretty rough Debbie Downer month for the most part. But it's almost over. So that's one thing that you guys can look forward to. And, uh, you know, what about Dogecoin in the house? Well, Dogecoin... You know, Dogecoin's held up pretty well in terms of, my, in my perspective, and, and I think that Dogecoin is getting ready to two to three x pretty soon, guys. So you know, we all we all know about the Plan B targets. Plan B targets have, uh, and I keep repeating this, but I I got to repeat it too. So we can see that the you know the Plan B targets right now is October sixty three k. I think it's going to come in. Uh, we're seeing that right now the Fear and Greed Index as well uh, as uh, we're still at twenty seven. So do exactly the opposite of what everybody else is doing. If people are fearful, this is the time to be buying. When people are in extreme greed, that's the time to be selling or thinking about taking profits, guys. So remember that. And one of the hardest things that you can do as a crypto trader is take profits. Sometimes it's hard. So you have to set a plan. Uh, remember, never trade with emotion and uh, never, never, never leverage trade. Remember, investing is how you make money. And how you make money in crypto is very simple, guys. Diamond hands. Be extremely patient and wait for life changing wealth. So you got to wait. So you have to wait a year. It's well worth it, guys. So remember that, and never, never panic sell. Never succumb to the FUD. So you guys can see in previous cycles that uh, September has always, always been pretty uh, bearish, and and you know it's playing out uh, so far. Uh, year to uh, month to date for September, we're down about 10.24 percent compared to where we were in August. So basically, if we uh, take what August uh, August price increase and uh, September increase, we're we're still up about three percent. So, but you know, October you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, six times out of eight we are up. So October is definitely going to be exploding, guys. I believe it. So you guys really need to buckle up. You know, the rocket has been filled with fuel. We're on the launch pad and it's about time to moon, boys. And we're definitely going up to the moon, guys. So don't panic. And, you know, where do I see Doge? Where do I see Doge? And where do I see Doge moving to? Well, I, I really think that we're going to see Doge, uh, you know, take off in this general direction here. And, you know, we've had, we've had you know, higher highs, uh, higher lows and you know recently we've just been kind of capitulating going down and I really believe that we're going to have a v-shaped recovery soon and that's going to take dogecoin definitely by the end of the year to one dollar to two dollars so it's just a matter of time you know doge is often an outlayer off doge will often do things that are really strange 
and and sometimes Doge just needs to take pick up speed. We're seeing that the amount of transactions for Doge is really low right now, and uh, and the, also the media sentiment is coming down. You know, we can see that other meme, meme coins like Shiba Inu and Floki, and I think Doge Baby and Doge Wife and all these, uh, you know, Pupu Doge and all of these other. Uh, you know, copies of uh, and Doge point uh, two point zero, and I believe they're being sued by the foundation right now for trademark infringement. But you can see that a lot of a lot of other meme meme coins are taking some of the spotlight from Doge, and you can see that a lot of the people investing in meme co meme coins are very new in this business, and they're very they're very fickle. They just move around, and they think you know that suddenly they're going to put a dollar here, and there's going to be a two thousand cent pump. So that's how you lose money is you know by just jumping dumping into one pump and dump and going to another you have guys have to stop it look at the fundamentals of the token look at how long the token's been around and this is not financial advice and in my opinion anything that's not been around more than two years you want to really stay away from it and if it's in the, if it's not in the top 50 projects stay away from it so you know the two factors if it's not older than two years and it's not in the top 50 projects stay away from it guys Really, I'm advising you, be careful, guys. And you know, Doge has utility. Doge is here to stay, and it will be around a long time. Sure, it, may, it might not be moving fast enough for a lot of you out there, but you gotta be patient. You know, Rome was not built in a day, guys. <laughs> Rome was not built in a day. Look where look where Dogecoin was only a year ago when it was at like 0025. Now, we, you know, we're at 20 cents, guys. So it, it's a considerable increase from where we are. Sure, I know a lot of you bought at the top, it's uh, you know, just near the uh, May 8th SNL thing. Well, you know, you FOMO'd in and now you're paying the price for it. So all you got to do is you're going to have to wait. Maybe it take you a year. I don't know. But I really believe that Dogecoin and the crypto markets are going way up and October things are going to explode. And you know, it's not just me saying that. You just have to look at the look at the history, look at the returns that we've seen in October. We've seen time and time again that October and November, December are some of the best months for crypto. Also, February is very good. January is the Debbie Downer. So get ready that, you know, we could see that we could hit our second top, blow off top uh, in January. And typically, February is also a good month. So you guys just have to gauge it. But I think this, uh, this uh, the way the crypto cycle is happening this year, it's going to be very different because all the institutional investors and all of the uh, retail investors are different now. They're really, really different. They're they're diamond handing. They're they're hodling more, and they they tend to be a little bit more savvy investors than what we've seen in previous cycles. So maybe we won't have this huge blow off top and a big crash. Maybe we will just continue me meandering slowly upward, and that's healthy, guys. That is very healthy. And as we see, you know, America uh, entering into recession. This is good for crypto because when you have more recession, it often is good for crypto. We're also going to see probably uh, early uh, next year, 2022, we're probably going to see the broader markets and fiat markets crash like crazy as we enter into recession. So there might be a little bit of a bloodbath probably, you know, in, in January uh, for the crypto uh, because of recession and because the broader markets are crashing because typically January is a pretty bad month for uh for uh, the uh, broader markets like the Dow and the S&P because most people are on holiday, right? So get prepared for that, but don't panic, guys. Absolutely don't panic. Some other news that's coming in right now, and then we'll jump into the markets, is so we can see that, uh, you know, the over 10 new cryptocurrencies are being launched every day. So, you know, there's a big, huge boom in cryptocurrency. Right now, there's more than 12,000 coins on uh, coin market cap. And last year, at the same time, there's 7,100 projects. So, yeah, the boom is good. The, you know, getting more uh, liquidity, getting more capital in the space, it's always good for everyone. But you guys also have to be aware, there's also, there's also a downside. Is this good for crypto? Sometimes no, because we're seeing more and more of these new projects. You know, we're seeing more and more pump and dumps come out there. And that's not good because Gary Gensler is using this as a reason to highly and heavily regulate crypto. So, you know, like I said, you guys have to be careful out there. There's a lot of projects that have just come out of nowhere and suddenly there's you know, a lot of uh, a lot of hype. You know, a million dollars will get you a lot of social media advertising, a lot of attention, a lot of hype, guys. 
So, and some of these investments can be dangerous. So, in, you know, indeed, like it says here, indeed, many of these tokens uh, like seem like dangerous investments. They're not outright scams. Over 25 million were lost in crypto scams among Australians only in the first half of 2021. So there are a lot of scams out there. So you guys just have to be aware. So once again, like I said, to kind of reduce your exposure to this kind of thing, what you can do is never invest in anything that's younger than two years. Yeah, I mean, look at Avalanche. Okay, it's younger than two years. Some people have been beating me up in the comments. But you look at the look at look at the project. Look at who's behind the project. Look at the tokenomics and look at the market cap, guys. Uh, you know, yeah, sure. There's some outliers. Sure, there's some exceptions to the rules. But overall, don't invest in anything that's over two years. Uh, that's two years younger. And and if it's in the not, if it's not in the top 50, 60 uh, list on on the coin market cap, don't touch it, guys. You can get burned. It could be a pump and dump, and it could be a, a scam, guys. So you know invest in legitimate pro uh, projects that's why i always tell people you want to have a good diversified portfolio you want to hold uh, bitcoin you want to hold ethereum and you want to hold a lot of coins in the uh, high caps and which is in the top top 10 to 20 projects and then you're then you're pretty safe guys uh and then you've also got to be patient and realize that you know you need to you need to have diamond hands and hollow for a long period of time i'm gonna get some more coffee in my mug the mug this mug is full of happiness guys you gotta get the mug check out my merch guys get the mug you know, the mug is good because one size fits all, right? <laughs> you know, because the mug is designed to go here and what's in here is designed to go in here. You know, where you know, sometimes clothing can be a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a dicey when you're trying to pick the right size because if it doesn't fit, then you got this whole nightmare having to return stuff. So get the mug, the mug, you'll have the merch. So some other stuff that's coming out right now. If we look at the sentiment right now, we can see Ethereum just hit the highest circulation in, uh, in one day in over three months so the price has not reacted yet so we we have the last time we saw uh, the uh, circulated uh, ethereum this high was back in june uh, 22nd and that's when we saw that uh, you know there was a huge price pump and uh, you know at that time uh, ethereum was all, was over four thousand bucks guys so you know the price has not reacted yet so that's why i believe that you know next week or definitely in october things are looking pretty peachy keen guys so this is also very bullish news uh derivatives data suggests solana has reached a short-term top we can see that you know after bitcoin and ethereum solana is the third most leverage traded coin out there right now so there's still a lot of a lot of interest from leverage traders uh in solana right now and uh you know that's not always bearish and that's not always bullish because you know that the the leverage longs and the leverage shorts they often cancel each other out and, and creating kind of a zero-sum game right remember cryptocurrency is kind of like game theory on steroids so if you don't know what game theory is go to the google and t and search in game theory basically game theory is that you have imagine a jar of water okay and that jar of water and it's sealed that jar of water represents a total 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 money in the market and there's always going to be winners and there's always going to be uh, losers and the 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 supply is liquid so it always goes to one side or to the other side and the game theory also says the more players that you have in the game the the more likely we got you know, of being successful right so you can see that the 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 total amount of money is is always at equilibrium but it shifts from one side to the other there's maybe more losers more winners more winners more losers so that's kind of game theory in a short but go take up game theory because crypto is really about game theory right it really is you know basically if you're making money it means somebody lost money okay it doesn't mean that everybody makes money and nobody loses you know and it, it's zero sum games right zero sum gain I mean for you to make money in crypto means somebody has to lose money and that's the way crypto is so solana is looking pretty bullish and a lot of people are saying that solana could end up 30xing from here so some of the coins that i really like and i think that are going to uh, go crazy in october are solana avalanche a dot ftt and we'll look at those projects luna tezos Adam, I think these are some of the coins to keep an eye on that are definitely going to start to pump like crazy in October, guys. So some other news that uh, I've, we talked about this, I believe once again that Doge is going to have a, a V-shaped recovery and we could see Doge start to pump. And uh, also, you, average Aussie uh, crypto portfolio grew 258%. So we're seeing that in uh, 
in 2021 that most Australians, uh, their portfolios have increased 258%, meaning the amount of money that Australians are holding on exchanges has increased 258%. So this is really bullish. This is really positive. And this really just goes to show that crypto is being adopted and more and more people, more of, you know, you know, Joe Public are getting into crypto. And this not only specific to Australia, but worldwide we're seeing uh, much more adoption. So this is really this is really bullish news. Uh, some other news that's coming out right now is we have former Treasury Secretary uh, Larry Summers, and he's saying that cryptocurrency will do better if uh, regulated. So he kind of believes that, you know, when you have large financial sums happening in secret, you have risks of money laundering, risks of supporting various kinds of, uh, you know, various activities. And so this is the same old, same old. You know, it's like it's like Ger it's like Gensler. You know, it's like you know, five percent of the total crypto market may be considered doing nefarious activities, right? But what they want to do is they want to they want to laser focus on that specific and generalize it to the whole crypto space and say that oh, the whole crypto space is is prone to this kind of activity, and it's it, it's a it's a totally untrue. But this is this is a narrative that they are trying to get out to the world so they can justify high high you know justify high degree of uh, regulation when it comes to the crypto space i mean i believe you know that regulation some form of regulation is good cuz like i said you know last year we had 7000 tokens now we have 12000 tokens and that means that some of those tokens were only minted you know in the last couple of hours seconds weeks months so you know are all of them going to have good tokenomics are all of them going to have good fundamentals and a good white paper no some of them have been created in 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 the back office remember creating a token is very simple you can do it on you can do it on ethereum it's basically you create a smart contract uh and if you want to create your own token just go on the internet and search create your own token uh using ethereum smart contracts and you can have your own token up within 24 hours, guys. It is not complicated. You could call it the, you know, the the OG token or or the Bilbo Baggins token or whatever. But it is not complicated to create your own token. Creating a token is the easiest part on ERC20. And we, you know, with the and enable our smart contracts on ADA and a lot of other like Solana and Harmony. It is not complicated to create a token. So that's why you guys have to understand that. You know, is you don't need to have this huge development team and it's some mystical process. Uh, uh I mean, creating your own token is easy. It's very easy. Don't so guys do some research and you'll find out how easy that's. So yeah, some regulation I agree needs to be, but let's not focus on you know the five percent. You know, like ninety five percent of crypto is good and everything is beautiful, but there's a five percent nefarious element. But what they've done is taken that five percent and they've generalized it, and, and it's like, oh, you know, politicians believe that crypto is bad. That's not the case, guys. It's absolutely not the case. So let's jump into market cap right now. So you can see the market cap is at one point eight nine trillion, and it's pretty much going sideways from my previous video uh, this morning here in Vietnam. So it's this is pretty much of a pretty boring day in terms of crypto. We can see that uh, Doge is also pretty much going sideways. It's, it's a at uh, 20 cents right now, it's at 0 0.2051, and it's just below my uh, uh, support level. So I'm not going to change that to red because I think we're just going to go sideways. And then we need to keep an eye on the uh, pre-markets for America on Monday. If the if we see some green on the pre-markets, then the cryptos are going to go up, guys. If not, then we're just going to go sideways. And I don't think there's going to be any more China FUD. I think we've had uh, that's been washed out. All, all the uh, newbies have been flushed out of the system right now. So I think the whales realize that this kind of uh, tactic isn't working with us anymore because we're much smarter uh, and stronger. So right now on the uh, Bitstamp uh, weekly chart, we're seeing that uh, uh, Bitcoin is printing a price of 42193 And uh, you know the only thing that worries me is this is a 21-day moving average. And typically when we drop below the 21-day moving average, we often have... Uh, we often have a lot of dumps, guys, uh, and it's a it's it's pretty much a, a bearish signal. I keep telling you that, so you guys just need to watch out for that. Um, I think that uh, you know if we can get uh, Bitcoin back up to forty four thousand in a very short period of time, then we're going to be above the twenty one day, which is very critical. It is not. It, I mean, it's a, technically it's critical, but 
it's more about sentiment. It's more about sentiment because a lot of people see this go, oh, oh, oh the, the bear, the, the bear is here and the bear is going to bring the crypto winter, get your winter coats. So it's more psychological than technical in my perspective. Okay. Yeah. T I mean, listen, TA only works until it doesn't. I mean, but TA is kind of educated guessing, right? Remember, TA is only TA and, and, and you cannot... It doesn't work 100% of the time. And, and those guys that tell, oh, TAs will determine the outcome of crypto 100%. Well, that if that's true, then so why are they not multi-billionaires and uh, running the planet, right? Just think about it. Put it in perspective. So let's take a look at uh, Bitcoin on the four-hour chart. Bitcoin is is still, it's following my trend line here. Let me just extend that down to, to here to the 40 level, 40,000 level. Now, the worst case scenario is we could see Bitcoin breaking down to $38,000 around about here, but it's a, you know, Bitcoin is attempting attempting to break out, so hopefully we can have an S-shaped recovery. We're not we're not going to have like a V-shaped recovery. We're probably going to have an S-shaped recovery. I think we we could be doing something like this more. I think this is more likely we go down like here. We go here. We could even go as low as 40 and come back up maybe have another dip as we get to the here and then finally make our way out here but october the bitcoin and the cryptocurrencies will explode absolutely 100 let's take a look at ethereum in the house now ethereum it dropped down around about four percent uh about two percent here guys uh so overall ethereum is 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 not doing so well but I think we're still going to be range bound and uh, we've got this good support of $2,800 and I think we won't drop below that uh, for the coming weekend. And, uh, you know, everything is just going to consolidate and wait for Bitcoin to make its move. And uh, we need some really positive news and, and catalyst. A lot of people are still like eh, China FUD Evergrande. So give it about 72 hours that whole negative cycle to wash out because if you look at the institutions and you look at the retail investors you'll find that in fact if you take all if you take all the market cap of the retail investors are actually larger than the institutions by about 15 20 percent so it's very easy to shake the markets sentiment wise when you start to spread foot these guys spread the foot so these guys here panic sell and then what these guys will do is they'll take some of their positions and they'll dump their positions to drive the price down and coordinate the FUD release. So these guys will shake, the retail investors will shake, 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 and you'll also dump your coins. And then, you know, let's say they, they hold 100%. They'll sell off 20% at a loss to dump the price, but then they'll go in and they'll pick up, they'll pick up that 20% at a cheaper price by shaking you guys out and then they make more money. So they shake you out. They shake, you know, you need to have, you know, you need to have a huge shakeout between, before you have the next pump. And that's what we've been seeing in September. We've been seeing a lot of shakeouts. This is like the third shakeout and this is all coordinated manipulation, guys. So that is the case. So Cardano in-house, you know, we have this big uh, Cardano summit that's going on right now. And uh, there's a whole bunch of new projects that are being uh, announced, you know, uh, so this is really good. And we can see that Cardano price should start to st start to make some moves next week. But once again, Cardano is at $2.24. Uh, and it's just sideways. So that's basically, it's this Sunday is going to be kind of a nothing burger. And uh, right now, Solana is $130. And it's you know still within this uh, triangle here. Once again, it's going to be an S-shaped recovery. It's not going to be a, uh, it's not going to be a V-shape where we're going to go, whoo. It's going to be more like this, a little bit like this. But I really believe by the end of the year, we're going to see Solana absolutely explode, guys, explode. So, yeah, it's 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 pretty boring Sunday here. Uh, we've seen that uh, uh, Avalanche has broken down here and it's just hit the support here. And now it's starting to turn green and Avalanche is trading at $65. But I'm not worried, you know, let's just let uh, let let September uh, finish and, you know, let's get some September out of there. And then things will be starting to, to get back to normal. We can see that the uh, the volume has picked up a little bit with 69 and with 69 billion about uh, three hours ago here, and the market cap is still below two billion, and uh, it's at one nine one trillion guys. And the dominance is still too high. We need the dominance to come down to like 39 ish. Then we're gonna start to see all the old coins pop off. So let's take a look at the coins in the house. So we're seeing that you know as I said. Bitcoin is just kind of like going sideways. It's at 42,202. That's about 1.34% down compared to the high of yesterday. And Ethereum in-house is at 2.24, uh, and that's at uh, 
2,862. ADA is down almost 5% now. And that's a 2.25. We had a good run yesterday. ADA was point, uh, painting some green. BNB is down 4.61%. That's $341. Solana is down 6.67%. Again, $130. I mean, there's probably been some panic selling on Solana. I'm sure that people are like, oh, it's over, it's over. And we've seen a lot of articles that have come out, like uh, big uh, Solana's uh, printed its... Uh, a new top and this and that. So that's also not helping. It's a little bit of Solana FUD out there right now. Because a lot of people are are leverage trading on Solana as well. And institutions are. So you're going to see a little bit of FUD on uh, on the on Solana. And DOT is down 8%. I mean, you know, if you see any of these coins, like this is a, this is a good pickup. Now this is a good pickup. Uh, BTC, yes. Ethereum, yes. Uh, Solana, yeah, ADA, sorry, no, I wouldn't pick that up now because it's only a single digits. Whenever you get anything into like double digits, anything that's gone down like 20% in seven days, it's something to consider. Dot, I would pick up some more. Sol uh, Avalanche, no, I wouldn't pick any more up. Uh, Link, yes. Uh, Algorand, yes. Uh, Adam, no, you see, because it's only down 3.8%. It really hasn't dropped very much. Matic, yes, 19%. Pick up some Matic, I would do that. FTT, yes, I keep, FTT is going to explode in October, guys. Absolutely, it's going to do that. Vet, definitely pick up some Vet. Vet, Vet, Vet. And uh, guys, take a look at PancakeSwap. It's down 19.69%. Uh, uh, PancakeSwap is pretty good, guys. Take a look at that. So with that being said, guys, uh, you know, it's kind of a, it's kind of a lazy, a kind of a lazy Sunday, guys. So don't forget to follow me on my Twitter. I've got uh, 2,348 uh, followers. And if you're not getting YouTube notifications and it happens, guys, please follow me on Twitter and you won't miss a beat. You won't miss a beat. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, BYB. Subscribe, BYB. Do it right now and smash the likes. Tell the YouTube algorithm that you love this channel and you love the OG, guys. Show some support, guys. Show some massive support. And go to all of my video descriptions. I've got Linky Winkies down there. Check out my Linky Winkies. And, uh, you know, don't forget to, to check out the Muggy Mug. And, uh, you know, become a Patreon member. Support the channel. Buy the channel a coffee, guys. Please do that. Buy the channel a coffee. All of that goes to charity. And uh, my wife said that this week she, because of, you know, the, the lockdown restrictions have been eased, she's going to go out and we're going to go distribute some rice to the, the homeless and the poor and uh, the orphans. We still can't go inside the orphanage, but we're going to drop off some books and food in front of the gate and we're going to make a video of that and uh, we'll put that uh, we'll put that video on YouTube and you guys can watch it or at least put a link in there. We'll make it private, but we'll put a link. We'll put a link in the description. So guys, don't forget to go to Zen Music Addict. This is a wife's channel. Go, go, go and subscribe. Subscribe right there, guys. Subscribe. Don't forget the mug. And uh, one other thing, guys, do not forget to check out the merch merch. We got the hats, we got the hoodies, we got the polo shirt. And don't forget to check out the mug, the mug. I love the mug. It's real. It's real. This is a real thing. Look. Mm. It's full of happiness, it's full of hope, and it's full of love. So this is the OG in the house. Doge going to the moon. And we're going to the moon, guys. We're definitely going to the moon. Guys, hang on. October's going to be a rocket ride. And I love you guys. I love you guys to death. I'm working for you. And this is a great time to be alive. God bless each and every one of you out there. Have a great Sunday wherever you are. Have a great evening wherever you are. Have a great day if you're waking up. God bless each and every one. Spread a good vibe. But guys, spread a little love out there. You know you want to get it done, guys. Spread that love. And don't forget, if things are looking down and things are looking depressing for crypto, it's September, guys. This is a big flush, a big washout. And then October, we're going up and we're going to explode. I can feel it in my body. I've been in, this, I've been in crypto for years and years and years. This is this is just a thing, guys. It's a cycle. It's a cycle. Don't worry about it. Don't panic, guys. I know that some of your portfolios are going down like now. Don't worry about it. It's nothing very. So, woo! I'll see you in the next one, guys. I love it. It's a great time to be alive, guys. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. Thanks, guys. Thanks for my community. Without you, this channel wouldn't be possible. Don't forget to smash the likes one more time for the OG. Woo!